Hey, Robin here from leadgenius.biz and as always, we are about simple practical advice to make your business better, to help you move the needle in your business. Now, a big topic in hand in South Africa is the Poppy Act. If you're watching this from Europe, you've been through GDPR and one big factor of both of those policies is we need to get consent from anyone where we're collecting personal information. Now, if you're running an online store, you're going to need to collect personal information in order to deliver on whatever that person is buying from you, be it a digital product, physical product, product, whatever it is, you're collecting names, numbers, emails, telephone numbers, delivery addresses, whatever the case may be, that's personal information. You need to get consent. So today I'm just going to quickly show you how I've done that for my website in the checkout fields for WooCommerce. So if we look at my website here, this is the checkout page for a Poppy compliant privacy policy and you've got the details that you can fill out and then right at the bottom you'll see now what I've added in is a privacy policy. It's a mandatory field. They have to click this and agree to the privacy policy before they can continue with the transaction. That's going to ensure I'm Poppy compliant and GDPR compliant as well. So let's quickly look at how to do that inside WordPress. So I'm going to jump into the back end of my website Website. I've gone to add new plugin and I'm searching for checkout field editor and manager for WooCommerce. Now I'm assuming you've got a little bit of WordPress knowledge, you know how to do this. So I go and look for that. There are quite a few other plugins. I'm sure all of them can get the job done. This is just the one that I'm working with. Once you've added that one in and activated it, it's going to create a new field for you underneath WooCommerce called checkout fields. And this is a pretty handy plug-in for manipulating your fields. For example, I don't ship physical products, only digital products. I don't need delivery addresses. So I've removed all of that. So once I've gone through to this, I can lay out my form. Not a tutorial on how to use this particular builder, but just to show that it's powerful and you can see I've hidden these options for delivery because I don't need to. So I've already added this in. Let's go ahead and remove this so I can repeat the steps for you. So I'm going to go to fields. I'm just going to add in a radio box and uh, we'll pop that right in there and if I click into that it's going to bring up the options so I'm just going to call this privacy policy you can call it whatever you want consent I do want to make it required so they can't move forward without it I don't need all these other options I'm just going to go with that and write in here I agree if I can spell today to your privacy policy. That should get the job done. Let's just make the value in yes. And um, that's it. Simple as that. And now if you go back and have a look at your page, you will have a privacy policy ready to go. Nice and, nice and simple, nice and easy. And because we've made it mandatory, they cannot advance through the transaction without agreeing to this, which means you can't accidentally be storing personal information that you don't have permission for. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Free, by the way, you don't, you don't have to spend a cent to do this. I hope that helps you. Catch you later.